Okay, so today we are going to be talking about um, probability and we're going to be talking about two ideas. One idea is if you replace and then one idea is if you don't replace. So we're going to talk about replacement and then no replacement. Okay, so what that means is, for example, let's say that I have um, a bag full of some Jolly Ranchers, okay? Now, in this bag full of Jolly Ranchers, I have a few different types. So let's say that I have a, wait, Jolly Ranchers. Then I can write less. Okay, so we have Jolly Ranchers in a bag. I have 11 red. I have nine pink, I have four green, and two blue. Now, for each of these probabilities, I'm going to take a Jolly Rancher out of the bag, and then I'm going to put it back in the bag. So as soon as I take one out and look at it, and then decide what color it is, I'm gonna put it right back in the bag, okay? So I'm going to start by figuring out the probability of choosing a red, and then a green. And again, this is with replacement, so it goes right back in, okay? So the probability of picking out a red, well, the first thing we have to do is we have to figure out the total number of Jolly Ranchers that we have. So if I add up 11, 9, 4, and 2, then I get a total of 26. And that's really important when you set up your probability problems. Okay, so I have 26 Jolly Ranchers, and I'm trying to figure out the probability of getting a red and then a green. And it's not really written like this, but I'm kind of helping things along. Um, and it always says replacement, okay? So there are 11 red out of a 26 total that I could grab. And then when you say, um, well, when you say and then we are multiplying the next probability and remember I've replaced it so my total is still out of 26 and then it's green so I could have four greens when I multiply I get 11 out of 169 and that does not reduce so that is my probability of pulling a red and then a green so now let's figure out the probability of choosing a pink I think I'm gonna write it differently then a blue. So remember we still have our same total, so that would be 26. Of them, um, nine of them are pink. Then I've taken out that nine, or one of those pink ones, and I've replaced it in my bag. And now I still have a total of 26, and there are two blue ones. When we multiply these together and we reduce, we get nine over 338. Okay, so now let's do the probability of getting two reds in a row. Okay, so for this one, um, the red probability is 11, 26, and then I put my Jolly Rancher back in my bag, and I still have an 11, 26 chance of getting a red Jolly Rancher. When I multiply and I reduce, I get 121 over 676. I don't think that reduces. So that is my probability. Again, probabilities are always better if you have percentages. So, well, let's do one more and then I'll change it. Okay, so you want, now we're going to fi figure out the probability of choosing one that is not blue or red then pink. Okay, so the probability of choosing one that's blue, not blue or red, and then choosing a pink one. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to add the probabilities that are not blue and not red. So we still have 26 total Jolly Ranchers, but those that are not blue or not red are pink and green. So nine and four, make 13, so I've got 13 times 
Um, my probability of pink, so remember I've put my Jolly Rancher back in after I took it out to look at it. And then my pink Jolly Ranchers, I've got nine of them. We multiply and reduce, and then I get 950 seconds. Okay, so these are my reduced fractions, but again, they don't mean as much um, if we don't have percentages, because percentages are much more meaningful. So let's figure out the percentage. 11 divided by 169 is times 100 is 6.5% of grabbing a green, a red and then a green. Grabbing a pink and then a blue is 9 divided by 338 times 100, so that's 2.7 percent, even smaller, so that probably won't be happening. Then two reds in a row, 121 divided by 676 in times 100 is almost an 18 percent chance, that one's not bad, so it's 18.9 percent, almost 19 percent, oh 17.9, yeah almost 18, my bad, sorry, struggling. Okay, and then 9 divided by 52 is times 100, 17.3% chance. So these are all relatively low. The best possible outcome that we have is grabbing two reds in a row, and that's because we have so many of the red Jolly Ranchers. Um, what if I asked you about choosing a green? So choosing a green, then a red, Oh, I'm sorry, not choosing a green, choosing a yellow. Well, choosing yellow, we don't have any, so this would be a 0% probability. So those were all different types of probability with replacement, where you put the Jolly Rancher back. So now we're going to do no replacement problems. This time, we are going to talk about candy bars. So my candy that I have, um, I have five Snickers. I have eight Milky Ways. I have 10 Twix. And I have 15 Three Musketeers. Okay, they're all in a bag. Now this time I'm not replacing, no replacement, okay? So now we're going to figure out the probability of a Snickers, then a Snickers. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is figure out our total. If I add all of these up together, let's see. So we have 5 and 8 and 10 and 15. We have a total of 38. So 38 total. Okay, so my probability of my Snickers. So the probability of a Snickers is 5 out of 38. And then I am not replacing. So I've taken a candy bar out. So that means that my total is decreasing by 1. And we're assuming we took out the Snickers, so then that means that I have one less Snickers as well. So then we're going to do calculate this on our calculator. So 5 times 4 over 38 times 37. I don't think it's going to like this. Oh, it did. Yay! 10 over 73. Okay, so if we figure out that percentage, times 100, then it's a 1% chance. So this is the answer I want, and then it's a 1.4% chance of drawing two Snickers, given that we have 38 total. Because that one's so small, right? Like, we barely have any Snickers compared to all the rest of them. Okay, so now let's figure out the, oh, I'll just do it over here, probability of grabbing a Twix, and then a Milky Way, W, and then a Snickers. Okay, so remember again, we start off with 38, and we have 10 Twixes. Okay, now we only have 37, but I haven't grabbed a Twix, I've grabbed a Milky Way, so we have 8 Milky Ways. And now we have 36, and I've grabbed a Snickers, which is different than the other one, so we have 5 of those. Okay, so now we are going to put that in our calculator. 10 times 8 times 5 over 38 times 37 times 36, and it didn't like that. 10 times 8 times 5, 400, 
38 times 37 times 36. Oh, I see why. 50616. They're both evens. So let's reduce. So if 400 divided by 2 is 200. Divide this guy by 2. And then we can still reduce. 25308. Uh, divide 200 by 2, we get 100 divided by 2. And then that's 1, 2, 6, 5, 4. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Divided by 2 is, oh, there we go, 6, 3, 2, 7. I highly doubt that that divides anymore. Divide by 5, yeah, no, no. Okay, so that's what it is. Oh, I forgot to write that down. In 6, 3, 2, 7. So that is not even a 1% chance, 0.8% chance that this will happen. A Twix, a Milky Way, and then a Snickers. It is not happening, my friends. Okay, now let's do the probability of the three musketeers, and then a three musketeer, and then a three musketeer, and then a three musketeer, because why not? Okay, so the probability of the musketeers, so there are 15 out of 38, and I've taken one out, so now we have 14, and since one is gone, there's 37, and again, 13 out of 37, and one last time is 12 out of 37. Okay, let's see if our calculator likes this one, or we'll have to do it by hand. So we've got 15 times 14 times 13, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 12 over 38, 1, 37, 2, 36, and 35, silly. And we get, oh, it was fine. Okay, so it's 13 over 703, which is, oh, pretty small as well. 1.8% uh, chance. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's pretty small. Let's just compare that to taking the probability of getting a three musketeer. So if I had a probability of getting a three musketeer, that would be 15 over 38, and then 15, oops, 15 divided by 38 is a 40%, oops, times one more. <laughs> It's a 39.5% chance that that's what would happen. And then let's try one more. So probability of a three musketeer and then maybe a Twix. So the three musketeer is 15 out of 38. And then our Twix will be 10 out of 37. So 15 times 10 over 38 times 37 is 75 over 703, which is the same thing as 11%. So there you go. Anyways, this is how you do uh, probability without replacement. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, guys. Bye.